real quickly the secret to logs. Secret to logs is changing from the log form, which this is kind of the log form right here, base 3, exponent x, number 81, change it into exponent form. This is your exponent form, base 3 to the exponent x equals 81. Logs are exponents. So that's, that's what the focus is this chapter. So we're going to look at some log properties later, but we're going right to the homework, right? Go right to the homework. We're going to do some changes from exponent to log first. And notice I have two columns here. I think it's great to practice, but there is a little bit of overkill. So if you need practice, you can do more problems, but you don't need to. This is good enough. So we're going to change this exponent form into log form. What's the base of 5 to the negative 3 equal 1 over 20, 125? 5. And we'll come back to the number. Logs are exponents. This is where the exponent goes. What's the exponent here? Negative 3. So what's left? That's the number, 1 over 125. By the way, 5 to the negative 3 doesn't appear log base 5 of negative 3. That's wrong. Whenever you are tempted to do that, you know you're doing the wrong thing. Okay, let's try another one. What will this be? Log base, what's the base? 4 25ths of the number. We'll come back to it. What is the exponent? Negative 1 half. So what's the number? Number that goes there. 5 over 2. Seem easy? All right, let's keep going. Go down to, uh, let's go over here. When you see log and you don't see a base, it's assumed to be base, hmm, do you remember what it is? 10? Are you sure? Take your calculators out. Find log button. Log. Do you see it? What do you see right above the log button? 10 to the x. So if you ever forget what log is, you think of your calculator. The calculator will have log, and right above it is base 10. That's what log is. Look at natural log, ln. Do you see ln? What do you see right above that? E. That's the base of natural log, E. You okay with that? If you never knew that, that's going to be awesome. You learned one thing today that you're going to be able to remember forever. All right, so let's take 14 here. What is the base of this number 14? We're going to do it in, in exponent form. What's the base of this? E. What's the exponent going to be? 1 equal to? So, so this is your base. Am I losing you? Here's the base. Okay. Here's the exponent. And then the number is what? E. Is this true? Yeah, e to the 1 equals e. Let's try this one. Tell me what exponent form this is going to be. Base for number 8. 5 to the second equals true? Yeah, it is. Good. How about 11? Does that work? Try it. See if it's true. It's true, isn't it? All right, go to the next slide. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these expressions and we're going to set them equal to x. And they're hard to tell just the way they look. So what we're going to do is we're going to change them into exponent form and then figure them out. Log base 3 of 27, what's the base if we're changing to exponent form? 3 to the exponent x equals 27. It's, what will x be? 3, right? Now, if you're a fancy pants, what's 27? 3 to the what power? 3. Does it make sense that x equals 3? So solving uh, tip that we're going to do later. Uh, let's go down to this one, 25. Oh, log, I don't see a base. What will the base be? 10. Remember your calculator? So this is equal to x. So we can change this to base 10 to the x equals, well, this is a million which is 10 to the 6th, 
and it's in the denominator, so what do we put up above? A negative, right? Because it's 1 over 10 to the 6. So what's x going to be? Isn't that great? That's so cool. Uh, let's do... Let's do this one. 31. Is that equal to x? Now we're going to take the base. What's the base? 36 to the x. That's the exponent. Logs are exponents. That's equal to 36 to the 1 fourth power. What's x going to be? Yeah, and that's what you're supposed to do in each of these is find out what it, the answer is. Okay. Circle 40, 42, and 39. Those are meant to push you a little bit. If you don't get them, don't worry about it. And then the last thing in number 44, we're going to find the domain of each function. Logs are special. Here's what the uh, graph of log of x looks like. Log base 10 of x. Now, take the calculator. What's the log of 1? What's the log of 1 half? Get an answer. How about the log of 1 eighth? How about the log of 0? Huh? How about the log of negative 2? Log of negative 1 half. Error. So this is the graph. Your x always has to be greater than 0. Could it be equal to 0? Nope. So all we need to do for domain is put a box around this. What does 4x plus 8 have to be greater than? Zero. Can it be equal to zero? No. That's the domain. So then what? let's do it. 4x is equal greater than what? Negative 8. What's x greater than? You got it. That's the domain of this guy. Uh, how about this one? What's this going to be? Well, this is the only part you have to worry about. 4x minus 20 has to be greater than what? Zero. So you go ahead and finish that and then write domain x. These other ones will be interesting. Can't wait to see what you do with those. And that's log intro. Secret to logs is whenever you're stuck with logs, hold your fingers up. Whenever you're stuck on logs, you can change log form to exponent form. Or you can change exponent form to log form. That's the secret to log.